Welcome back everyone! Today we're at Chessington World of Adventures. This has been one of two vlogs. In this one we'll be looking at more of the rides in the theme park. And in the other one we'll be looking more at the zoo. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see that. Let's go on in! Exciting! Navigator, Saviour Crawler, and Anna is Zoologist June Cake. Jumanji World opened, and that's obviously our first time then on Mandrel Mayhem. It's probably the best ride here now. I love Vampire with that. Yeah, the first bit, when you go back out, and when the direction changes, when it pauses, you know what I mean, when the gravity takes over? That bit made my tummy go. Oh! <laughs> uh, that is the best bit. I think the real start for little, like half the ride is the most, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's according to where we were sitting because I don't know how it is when you're at the back but when you're facing the normal side of the road, like right, then you go back to where the start and for the first half of the ride it's really intense and then it's better actually the further up you go and the more it will become actually quite like less tense I think I've been choosing how it feels basically because the back carriage faces the other way to get everything yeah. reversed. I'm intrigued to know how that first view where it's quite steep feels doing it backwards. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know how it would be as well because like in the end when we were up, you were like sort of like inclined and we were facing down. So I don't know how it must be to be up yeah. and on the other side, like on the outside side of the ride. Yeah. So you must be really high. Uh, but then how was it for you because you were on the outside side facing down? So was it a bit like, did it feel a bit like you were in the boat or something? No, I don't think so. But I've done swimming to a park, I'm kind of used to doing that. But yeah, it's fun. I just like, you see a lot when you're on the outside, it's kind of what you want. You get all the scenery. I like feeling open. Yeah, so it's on the inside, you don't get quite much. We were hiding there for like three seconds. I don't know, because I've not done the outside. Yeah, that's fair. It was really good though. We might try getting get on later. I kind of want to try getting very back, but it's part of luck if you end up at the very back or not. It feels really good. Yeah, if we do it again later, we'll do it the other way around, yeah? And you do it on the outside, so on the inside? Yeah. Yeah, for real. Okay, let's go see the rest of the park. I think we're going to try and get Dragon's Fury, because it shut down every time when we were last here. It came breaking down, and it's still currently running, so let's just hope it stays open. Let's go!
So we got on it this time, and that was Anna's first spinning wild mouse roller coaster. What do you think? It was fun. I was terrified. You never know how it's gonna spin, and I don't like spinning too, too badly. It was a bit strange to be on the track and spinning at the same time, but there's a lot of moments like where it's actually like a quiet part, so yeah. you have to actually recover between the speedy part. I yelled a lot, and I think you laughed a lot. <laughs> yeah, tell how you distribute the weight depends on how much it spins, so I was spin very much. I've had it spin a lot more, but yeah, we were just good like that. It yeah. was good for the first time to not spin too much. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you go too much in the first one, you won't want it again. Because I've done a uh, dizzy hand, the precious coaster. I've been on once where that spanned so much I've had to fly before. And that's where it spanned like not barely anything at all. Yeah. So, yeah, it varies a lot. Which I like running because it means you're getting everything every time you go on it. Because whoever your wind depends on how much you can spin. But yeah, let's go back out into the park. I don't know how long this is going on for, but Tomb Blaster is closed all day. And possibly for longer, so you have to go on a health check, is how they word it. I love Tomb Blast, I was looking forward to this. So last year Croc Drop apparently wasn't doing the rotating thing, but it is again, that's good. Uh, when we came here two years ago, none of the steam was on, I think it's probably it was raining in the night last time. Yeah. And I think they turned them off. Yeah. But the steam's all back on again, that's quite curious isn't it? You're like, ooh! Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't have much right, it's just a really good drop ride. It's not too tall, the rotating's really cool. We like, you can see London over in that direction, you see the shaft and everything. So you get great views, I like that most drop rides go up, they sit there for five seconds and just drop you and it's over. We go up three times, it rotates, it's like every right. stage drop. Uh, what is cool as well is that you can see all around. Yeah. So you have a good view in the end. Yeah, like, not just in one direction. Yeah. Yeah. Like I really London like it. and everything, the fields around, it's nice. It's a great drop ride. We do recommend. It's yeah. We're in the queue for rattlesnake, and there's an Orthoceros fossil in the wall, and I have no idea why. So if anyone does know, let me know. I'm very intrigued. Okay, I've also seen a fake ammonite, so I'm guessing it's just part of the theming. This is the only two I've seen here. And we have a trilobite. So we just got a fan player, and at the beginning of the day, I said the new Mandrill Mayhem was my new favourite ride here. Fan player. It's yeah. always been the best. I love fan player. Yeah, me too. It's a nice ride. It's such a good ride. And like last time we were here, we were on. Uh, uh, we're here on a night, dark a bit, and you can see more in the day. I think both are brilliant, but do you have a preference for a night or day? I don't know. 
I don't know because it, at the same time the night one was also my first time, so I was yeah. covering the riding with us. That was amazing. Okay, you couldn't really see it was went over us. You can't port it, I think. Both are great, but if I had the choice, I would go again in the night. I think it's more atmospheric, isn't it? Yeah. The feeling of the ride. Yeah. But it's nice to see in the trees, we saw through the trees. Yeah. Yeah, bit. definitely. And then the village as well. Yeah. There's two, it's two different atmospheres, I don't know. This one was more like 13 I guess, yeah. when it's during the day. Yeah. But it's great that you can do it during the night sometime, I don't know. Yeah, I love this ride, yeah. yeah. Definitely still my favourite ride here, and it may always be. But I do miss the old bubble works. We've made Mandrill Mayhem our last ride of the day, and we're on the other side of the train this time. Yay! We've only just realised that we're row 7, and that's the very back of the train. Which is what we said about going on earlier. We're at the very back, we're going to be facing backwards! Dramatic! That was the ultimate way to end this day. That was really cool. I'm so glad we got back. The bit at the very beginning when you go, oh, yeah. how close you come to the end of the track. I know it's nicely that. Like close, like safety margin no, wise, but, you but it feel was... it a lot as well. You feel it yeah. all because after we get um, the the way down is also a lot more impressive. It's also the same when you go all the way up and all the way back down. You feel a lot more. It was so good. Yeah. So so good. I'd love to do it from the actual front front row one as well. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably the best one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one and seven, the best two rows. Oh, that was absolutely incredible, and the best way to end this day at Chesington. I think yeah. And I was on the outside bit this time, and I went really high. That was cool. Yeah, you could do yeah. that. It was very high. Like, you should get, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't have any thought about Chessington. I don't realize the pathways around Jumanji World, what is Jumanji, are the layout of the board game from the first film. Which is cool feeling, but this whole land theme here, I've like, had the whole park is themed so good. Yeah. And that's what Chessington does best, is its theming. Everything's tied into its own little worlds, and that's it. It's not just, not just about the ride, it's about the story with the rise, the theme with the rise, and that just makes it that next level. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love Chesington. Absolutely okay. brilliant. Yeah. Thanks for us today, guys, and hope to see you for the next one. Bye. Bye bye.